Mr. Ed here. Today is April 27, 2019. I'm in Slidell, Louisiana. I'm looking around the corner because we got a little surprise for you folks. Look who it is! Rick and Ralph! Ralph and Ralph is on the job with us today. And what our job is today, we're I'm back again visiting the same spot I was a year ago, removing a swarm of bees that have moved up into the floor joy space in the in the room up above. And it was a year ago, and on that very video, in fact, I'm going to put a link to that video on this one so you can look at that one as well. But I gave a shout out to my buddy Yappy in Alabama. So Yappy, here's to you, buddy. Sorry uh, we haven't gotten together, but I'm thinking about you. So we're going to go ahead. Uh, Ralph's got everything already brought in. Uh, we get, the bees are in the floor joist area right up in here. That, at least that's where they were last year. We're going to take down the soffit, remove that little piece of trim, expose the bees, and we're going to start vacuuming. And hopefully it's just going to be a swarm. She said that it's only been here a week. There, there'll be a little bit of comb, but hopefully not too much. So by the grace of God, Ralph and I, at, at the end of this little job, the bees are going home with Raggy and Ralph. Let's wrangle. Yeah, let's go. Well, it's a real special honor for me to have Wreck It Ralph on the job so that he can get up there and do what he does best, demo. So uh, Ralph's going to grab a couple of tools and he's going to start taking down this fascia and soften material. You ready? Yes, sir. Let's roll. <laughs> All right. This is what it looks like after we took the cover down. How long has it been here for? The people say it's been here for like two weeks. But it looks mighty, mighty big for just two weeks, but they can build out pretty quick, so. But we'll uh, start sucking these bees up and see what we're dealing with. This looks like where the old hive was. The last one Jeff took out. Yep, that's where it was. And then here's where they are now right next to it.
right, we're gonna get a break on back in a little bit and give y'all a look see as to you know how far we are along in this. And <laughs> I have to laugh when they say, oh it's only been here a week. These bees have been here for at least five or six weeks already. I think we've taken out six pieces of comb and man, we this queen is just a laying. Uh, I don't know how many, how many uh, sections of comb are left back behind this, but we'll keep on vacuuming and keep on removing comb. All right, time to get back to it. All the comb is out, but look at how many bees are still in the wall. Oh my goodness. And they're too far back in there for me to reach. So my options are either run them out with the honey robber, or I'll run them out with the honey robber. <laughs> I think I'm gonna try to reach back there with the vacuum and vacuum some before I spend All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start doing that. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. This this was brutal, folks. I, I'm not gonna lie to you. This the there was so many bees. You saw what the, what we were looking up against in the back of that wall. All the all the bees were back there. And then there was a crack, and the bees got behind the crack. We vacuumed bees, vacuumed bees, and finally we got enough out of there. So Ralph cleared out a spot where we could spray some of the honey robber underneath there, and we ran them out. And look at that. She ran out. She actually ran out and flew out, hit me on my chest, and I missed her. And, she, and we were been looking on the ground for her for the last half an hour. And I just found her on the ground. So thank you, Jesus. All right, I'm going to show you what we got left to do in there. And we're going to wrap this up. Thank you, Jesus. Wow, we, what a story this one is. Well, here's our shot of bees right here. The queen on top. That is looking really, really good. Everything is cleaned up upstairs. We're ready to load all the stuff in the truck and we'll close this up in the back of the truck. What an adventure this one was. Oh my goodness. Well folks, that was a doozy back there. But it sure was. <laughs> with Rick and Ralph there with you, you know it's gonna go good. Sooner or later we'll find the queen. I got Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was he was on the bottom, I was on the top, and that queen was on the bottom, so it was closer to Ralph than me. And Ralph says, you need to check on the ground. And so that's where she was. So that's all we got, huh, Ralph? Yes, sir. So what we got to say? Keep on watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Keep, Keep on watching. We'll be making more. more. God Thank bless. Ralph and Mr. Mr. Ed. Ed, we're out here until the next video. Thank you, buddy. God bless you, brother. <laughs>Last two days, Charlie and I have been adding honey supers to our boxes, and uh, here we are in the, the St. Teresa bee yard, and we just added three more to this. And as our honey flow is getting ready to start, we want to just be on time with adding our honey supers. So it's it is about adding honey supers, but really what I want to talk to about is swarms. So I still we're we're at the end of our first kind of like swarm season and we're getting ready to enter into the next one as our next honey flow or nectar flow is getting ready to start we're going to start catching more swarms again down here so what i would like for y'all to do is send me your pictures of the swarms that you catch and when you do go ahead and put your face in the picture of with that swarm because i want to make sure you get your face in it and yeah go ahead and wear your veil if you want to because like i'm wearing mine because these bees they're flying so send me your pictures, uh, make, I'll have the address to send them to in the video, and uh, just go ahead and send them in. So thanks for sending them in to everybody who sent them in, and let's get on with these pictures of the swarms.
back at the garage here in Mandeville and uh, I've taken all the traps out of here and, and reset them with, with, with more traps. These are little five frame nukes. In fact, all of these are Wreck-It Ralphs and we're gonna go ahead and see if we got any swarms in these. So let's check these out. Nope, nothing in this one. Now I am gonna rebate all these things. It's been probably two weeks since I've set these traps. I haven't even checked them since. We got a dry one here. Another dry one. Alright, another dry one. And then fourth one right here. I want to see bees on this one. Oh yeah, we got bees in that one. Well, one out of four is not bad. I'm gonna go ahead and rebate these. We'll head across the highway into Covington Country Club and see if we did any better out there. Now, I just saw a bee in here. So we must have some scouts looking at this one. Look, there it is right there at the entrance. So we'll go ahead and bait this one up again. All right, I'll bait it up again. Got that one all straightened out. And, and then I moved the box that was on that pillar over there. I moved it to right here because this pillar, the bees seem to do better. And as I didn't want them to get back underneath there like they did last time, I stuffed a rag underneath here. Alright, we got one more spot to check just up the road about four miles. Oh, let's see how that one's doing. Right, so I'm at my buddy Mike's house and I had a stand on this side but I never did have a box to put one on so I put one on on this side and whoo wee <laughs> look at that. Oh my goodness. Wow. Look at the bees on this one. Now that's sweet. All right, so that's gonna bring up my number. I had 22 today, now I got two more. So up to 24. This one is coming down within the next few days. I got to come get this one, sure.